Oh my god! What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Don't lose him. What in the fuck was that, dude? Holy fucking titty twisted mother! Whoa! You know, my parents are more important than me staying in this house. Just being real with all of you. It is, they are, they're more important. Me spending time with them and cat meeting them and whatever is more important than me losing a week of money to go see my parents. So that's what I'm that's what I mean. I'm going to be uh visiting them no matter what in April. Alright? It's true. This this house has been amazing to live in, but if I don't work for a week to go visit my parents and it's the the tipping point of the reason why I can't stay in this house, then so be it. You know what I mean? It's just a fucking week. It's a week, and that week will be very meaningful to see my parents, to spend time with them, for Cap to meet them. It's going to be a really, like, like a mem memories for life, you know? So, it's worth it, okay? It's definitely worth it. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that was way too much. The thing erupted on me. There must have been an air pocket in it. That's not cool. Well, we can salvage it. Look at that. Just put a little bit on top. <laughs> Oh shit! I've been broadcasting since 10 a.m. It's now 10:12 p.m. Okay, this is the longest stream I've ever done in the history of me streaming. Um, and even though this isn't even a debt in my taxes yet, it's adding up. It's going to help in the long run. I, you know, it will. So thank you guys very much for your contributions. I appreciate it. All right. Um, because someone said, why don't I do this every week? I'm not doing this every week. If I do this every week, it's not special. It would be just something I do every week and people would be like, oh, Phil's just doing it to try to be a money grubber and raise money. And that's why he does the special stream. No, I want this to be when I actually need help from you guys. Then I'll do like a crazy long special stream, but I'm not going to do it every week. And then you're right. Then it wouldn't be special. It would seem like it's too commonplace. Okay. Uh, however... Being that we see that how much, you know, I, I raised today via tips, which was my goal to raise as many tips as possible. Um, I'm probably going to do another one of these before my, uh, my time away to Connecticut in the second week of April. I think I should definitely do another one of these before to raise as much as I can. Because like I said, I certainly did not raise enough to make a dent in my taxes, but... If I keep going, I might be able to, okay? I shouldn't be doing that. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Code Castle cheered, and he says, I can pick up a controller and play any game at a professional level. Your words, homie. Well, if I ever said that, that's completely false. And the truth of the matter is that people should stop taking things that I said years and years and years and years in the past as face value stuff. You know, things change over time. The world is not black and white. If you believe that, you are an incredibly immature person and incredibly unwise. You know, things that I used to say back in the day are insanely stupid. And I've said this repeatedly. Think about all the dumb shit I've said over the years about things like Minecraft. And stuff. You know, I was a moron back then saying dumb shit. No, I cannot pick up any controller and play any game at a professional level. Oh, shit. I'm not setting up a tips goal. Reason being, the tips goal is kind of a... It's not necessarily honest. Because, like I said, if I could raise $17,000, yeah, that would make me, I mean all my taxes are, are, are taken care of. That would be the ideal state. It's also incredibly unreasonable. You know what I mean? I don't think that's going to happen. That's insane. Um... But no matter what I raise, it helps. So, you know, that's kind of why I'd rather do a total tips rather than a tips goal. Because I think a tips goal is kind of dishonest.
<laughs> I did not prepare my squirtable ingredients. And they launched all over the place on me, so spread a little bit of that ketchup over the, the cheese. <laughs> Apparently, I just received a $1,000 tip. Is that real? Hold on a second here. <laughs> the reason I say that is... That's ridiculously huge. And if that is real, thank you very, very much. But I actually get confirmation via email when I receive tips. So I'm actually curious. I'll have to check my email here and make sure that's real. But, holy shit, if that's real, thank you very, very much, whoever that was. That is going to help a lot in regards to me doing, you know, raising, trying to help with taxes and stuff. So, thank you very much. Because what happens, actually, what people, I think what people found out is they can abuse uh, the tip system sometimes. Like, there's one person who was basically tr sending tips, but then apparently they weren't going through. So, he kept sending them. So maybe this is someone who knows it's not legit, but it could be someone legit too. Again, I don't know. I have nothing yet. Hold on. Real quick, I want to check because I want to update the leaderboard if it's legit. Because that's fucking huge. It's not legit. It's not. I was right. It's bullshit. Because I'm checking right now and it didn't hit my PayPal. So it's not legit apparently. I'm going to double check here. Yeah, I see. I don't see it. Nope. Nope. So, it's bullshit. Like I said, someone must have found a way to abuse the tip system. To basically put in fake tips. And basically, it's, it's a, basically it, gets, it gets caught up. Like, it'll go through Muxy. But then when it hits PayPal, they detect it as bullshit or whatever. And they cancel it out. So, yeah, it's not legit. So, I'm glad that I, uh, that I did not update anything. There you go. Uh, Rock the Ice cheered. He said, come on, Phil, look at the name of the tipper and think about it. Obviously, but you got to be careful. You know, maybe it was someone legit just joking around, and it obviously wasn't. So, ladies and gentlemen, if, if and when I do get big contributions, I'm going to have to check them to see if they're real. In that case, that was just an asshole. So, please, even if, man, I, I can only give Phil a couple bucks, that's great. That's fine. It adds up. No matter what I can pay off, it helps, okay? So, please... Consider tipping if at all you can. All right. Um. Some assholes basically found a way to abuse Muxy. I think what it is, is they do a payment, but they do it in a way that they know gets declined. Like, for example, put in a payment method or something, and I think that, like, if it doesn't have enough on it or something, you could you could endlessly send fake payments. I'm not sure, though. I don't know how it works. But, uh... Okay, so just so everyone knows, since these idiot trolls have been trying to distract the shit out of us, I have turned off the tip messages... There's nothing else I could do about it, guys. Apparently, they found a way to do false tips and therefore have fake messages pop up on the stream. The good news is, if you do tip, guys, I still see the real tips. And I will give you shout-outs for the real tips during the streams. It just sucks that they found a way to abuse this stupid system. Um, You know, it is what it is. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you because I absolutely need your help at this point. This is the make or break point. If I don't raise any, you know, a significant amount, I'm done. It's like being completely out of touch with reality. They live in a bubble. They actually live in this very isolated world. They live in these weird bubbles and don't live in reality. They just don't. They think that the world is a way that it's not. <laughs> Um, you make the wrong people rich. Thank you for making me 
famous on the internet and how you know allowing me to do what I love for a living. Um, to me, all right, anyone who loves doing what they do on YouTube and they made a living doing it one way and then literally changed all of their content to just kowtow to the mindless masses of YouTube viewership because they realized that doing the quality content that they were doing doesn't work anymore. Um, that's garbage to me. Oh, I used to be someone who put out quality gameplay videos, you know, quality skits, quality this. Oh, now I just do daily vlogs of garbage and I talk shit about people and I, I propagate and stir the pot with drama and you know, yeah, that's garbage content. And if you do that on YouTube to make a living, you failed. You basically turned YouTube into garbage reality TV content and you should be ashamed of your fucking self. Oh my oh! god. <laughs> <laughs> Try to do this a little bit. Oh better. god. Like to me this game is work. To me this is like I have to really work my butt off to fucking succeed and I don't want to do that. I want to have fun. So as you the YouTube viewers, there's two things you can do to help. Number one, you can attend this Saturday's stream. Check out the actual stream at my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash darksidephil. I'll be streaming 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. on March 23rd. Come by, say hello, and contribute. Only tipping that's going to help. Now, if you absolutely cannot make it to the stream on Saturday, all right, you can still leave a tip. You can still do it. If you watch my videos all the time here on YouTube and you appreciate the fact that despite the fact that YouTube makes me almost no money whatsoever to upload the videos here, I really do it as fan service for you guys who've been longtime viewers of mine and love watching my stuff. Um, a lot of you even say you can't watch the live streams for whatever reason, but you can watch the on-demand videos on YouTube. Great. Please, if at all you can, please be supportive and leave a tip. You, the YouTube viewers, people who only exclusively watch on YouTube, I really need your support. This is it. This is the most important stream coming up I've ever done because I need to raise these funds. And if I don't, I'm done. I'm probably going to have to sell my house and, and have a horrible year where there's going to be all kinds of less streaming because I have to move and, and, and figure stuff out. It's not going to be good. Okay. It's going to be a very stressful, uh, negative thing. That honestly, you know, do I deserve it? No. I worked my butt off and it just sucks that so many things have happened in the past few years to screw me over and make me not able to afford my taxes at this point that I need your help. Now, whatever you're talking about, I don't care. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> oh my God, look at that disgusting mess. Have some fucking pride in your work. Mm. Copyright strike. Well, actually, not copyright. Uh, 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 stream strike. I don't know what they're called. Oh, man. You know what's funny? <laughs> I remember when Spider Man came out and yes, he was playing it. I told him ahead of time because I beat the game with my friends. Uh, around the end, when you fight Da Ah, uh, uh, I guess there might be a song at the end. Uh, a copyright or like put in the Let's content the ID done. system. So what happened is I ended up paying a strike off of that video. And they're like, oh, I'm sorry. You have to take this video off here. Oh, I'm like, okay. But then, now that I think about it now, I had a laugh at the trolls and all the other people that tried to shit on Phil about the whole Apex thing. Because it's technically kinda, kinda, in a way, their fault because it's in the system. They didn't want it in the fucking system. People wouldn't be getting content strike, um, I need strike or whatever. <laughs> oh my god, everyone is going crazy in the street chat. Oh my god. <laughs> I do oh like it a lot of fun. <laughs> No, what no, is, what is, not troll. What is happening? I don't know what's happening anymore. Let's, uh... Oh my god. Uh... Let's go over swabs. here. Let's go yeah, let's drop over here. <laughs> oh man. I don't know what's happening one? anymore. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you got like three. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that was nasty. But no, it's funny. Like it's so everything today is so different than it used to be. You know what I mean? Like the the good news is though, because here's the thing. Some people look at uh, older videos of mine and they're like, "Man, that's the real Phil," and you know the modern DSP is a is a censored DSP. Yeah, so some people are like, oh, you know, the modern BSP is a censored DSP, and the old DSP was genuine and stuff. I disagree. I think what it was, was that back then, it was a different climate. It really was. The world was different. And to casually say stuff like that was actually, like, accepted in many places. Where I grew up, it was normal to do that stuff. It was. It was normalized behavior. It wasn't seen as a negative. It wasn't seen as an insult. And then once I got to the World Wide Web and I got exposed to thousands upon thousands of people all over the world and people started telling me, no, Phil, you know, that is kind of offensive what you're doing when you say that stuff, right? Um, I kind of opened my, it opened my eyes a little bit and I was like, wow, you know, I didn't know that just generically saying a term like that could actually be seen as something insulting to someone. I didn't get it, you know? Um, and now, you know, then over time it changed for me, which is a good thing. And, you know, so I don't think, honestly, today, that's not in my, that, that stuff's not even in my head. You know what I mean? Like when I'm playing a game, I would never think to, to insult someone by saying those words. But back then it was just normal speak. It was like casual lingo. And that's why it would just like come out of my mouth without me even consciously thinking of saying it. Would go, Bloop, there it is. Now, luckily, it's not like that anymore.